I was in Sing Sing with Blue Boy. And I um, thought you was Blue, talking about another Blue Boy, but you talking about the the, the the guy, the same guy that everybody knows. The the, the Blue Not Boy. Not that everybody that knows, but the Blue Boy right. that killed Larry Davis. You know what I mean? The the I would say, man, got to be one of the hardest inmates in New York State. Like that ass. If you look at Blue Man, he doesn't even give you the impression. You know that this guy is the most dangerous dude probably in New York State. I made a video that looks at deceiving. He looks honestly like some yeah. people see me or see anybody and be like, son look like a bird. Yeah, but looks at deceiving. You mm -hmm. judging a person just off a camera. But when I seen yeah. blue, I said the same thing. He looked like yeah. a bird, but respectfully, you know, like not yeah. a bird, but like he looked like a humble dude. But what a gangster supposed to look like. I always say that. Right. You know he what I'm saying? Have, you know? Like that hard and look. You know, if you look nah. at blue, he looks like a like a regular like, Joe. Like a know, good boy. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and, and dude, this dude is the most dangerous dude, man, straight up and down in New York State. And I'm going to tell you a story of why I say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um, not only did, did we speak on, on, on how Blue exposed me, actually, to, to my culture. And not only my culture, all kind of cultures, black cultures and all of that. But the way I had it with him was that, the way he had it with me, rather, was that when he let me materials for me to return it back to him, I had to know the dates and, and everything about what he was ready to ask me. And if I didn't know it, he would send me right back with the materials and I had to make sure that I studied it if I wanted more material. You know what I mean? But he had shitloads and shitloads of good stuff. He be, he be, he been, I showed you, you know, some, certain things that he wrote. Um, which I got here, I told you that I had pulled out my jail box and I was going through it, and he exposed me to these microfilms. And these microfilms is cases of real revolutionaries, man. Lolita Lebrun, Pedro Abiso Campos, the FALN, Louis Berrios. If you know those names, you know what I'm talking about. So he exposed me to these cases uh, through Law Library, putting things like this. Um, does this got a date on it? Uh, does not have a date on it. Uh, yeah, but you, you did these through all eyes early. He put me on all of this, man. And uh, he even wrote by himself. I had says, keep the struggle because without struggle, there is no process. All right. And this is his own handwriting. And he even signed it, El Rebelde Azul, the Blue Rebel, which is what he was known for when he was Machetero. Now, everybody knows him now for being crypt. And there's a story that I heard. I don't know how true it is, but you know how when you're confined and the bloods get together and then they start doing the uh, peace Roll call. almighty, peace Roll call. Blood, they start doing that. Roll you know call. I mean? They say roll calls. They're roll calls. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Blue was confined and that roll calls pissed anybody off. I ain't going to lie. It's correct. Facts. You Facts. Them sick Respectfully. You're doing the whole roll call and everybody mm -hmm. be tight. But that's how they, you know what? They're militant. There's a reason for that. It's keeping their bros on their P's and Q's and keeping everybody else suppressed. You know what I mean? Yes. That's a militant strategy. And it mm -hmm. works. So I guess Blue Boy got tired of that shit and he just got up one time and was like, yo, shut the fuck up. You I did the I same mean? thing like, before. What? Facts. Yeah. He runs with strength and he knows when he, you know, he's a smart dude. You know what I mean? So he knows. He's like, you know what? I'm crip. <laughs> Dude's just like, what the fuck you mean you crip? Yeah, I'm crip. Y'all want beef? Let's bring beef. I'm Crip. This this dude, Blue, made himself Crip. He made himself Crip, then had the dudes of the real Crips give him the lessons later on. Like, well, well he said he's Crip. Fuck it. Let me just give him the lessons. Yeah, fuck. Because <laughs> you know I mean? he had the strength, though. He was putting it yeah, in, so they were like... He made himself. He said, yo, I'm tired yeah. of y'all niggas. I'm Crip. What's up? Like, out the blue. This is what I hear. You know what I mean? I don't know how true it is, but... I can, I can see that happening because... Blue I think I heard him say the same thing. Yeah, he, he's not just the type to, 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 to be in shit like that. You know what I mean? There's got to be a reason, a movement behind it. But he's a real strong guy, man. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to give you an incident. This story right here is going to blow your mind of how I really know who Blue is. So here I am in Sing Sing. I'm coming out from the visit. And the visit was somebody that was one of Blue's partners in that jail at that time. And the dude's name was um, Chino. 
and Chino used to hang out with Blue, and there was a right hand man, and this other um, um, Chinese kid used to be with him, and Blue's pops. Those were like the core that used to be in the flat all the time. So anyway, I'm just saying, one time I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Blue's pops, the, his up. father. His father, Blue's pops was in the same joint as Blue in the flats. Wow. All right, right next to him. It was there was neighbors, dude. There was neighbors. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming out to visit. I'm with this dude Chino. Now Chino, when we go into the block, Chino stops for a minute. He starts talking with somebody in the cells. So they had opened the A block, you know what I mean, so he can get in. So when he went inside, there's a cop that's coming out. Right? Chino don't enter his block. He's talking to somebody over here on the right side, and the cop comes. Him and the cop kind of like went under, you know, where the gate goes at the same time. So they like bump each other. You know what I mean? So the dude mm. turns around, he's like, yo, man, what the fuck. And the cop is like, what? You know what I mean? Like he posts it up on real, real shit bag white boy, like, like a real shithead. You know what I mean? He was one of those. So he turns around and he's like, what? So as soon as Chino was gonna be like, yo, what? You wanna shoot the what the fucking cop came as soon as he he didn't even finish his sentence. Cop came up behind Chino, threw him in a yoke, shoot, and took him down like in a second. Shoot, had his hands behind him, and Chino stayed like stuck, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, what the hell just happened here? And he, he just do just in one second, my dude, like, bang, they wanted him, shoot, shoot, shoot. took him down, shit, right? So Chino, they had took him, he was like, yo, what the fuck, he's beating with the dude, whatever. But anyway, they take him to the hole, whatever the case may be, they send me back. When they send me back, Ecuadorian kid out that I was working with, with at the, at the uh because i was working at the uh at the nut house at the infirmary well you know at the at the, at the nut house right right <clears throat> so he comes over he's like yo he, he looks scared my nigga he's like yo blue boy wants to talk to you i'm like yeah for what he's like yo we found out about the chino shit he said you was there and, and he's mad that you didn't do nothing i'm like mm. where he's like yo he wants you to go down to the movie theater now if you know sing sing movie theater you know what I mean? It's a real movie theater. You know, real movies. Whatever movie came out Friday, Friday, Sing Sing was showing this shit. I don't know what plug they had, the bootleg, but they had it connect. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So when the movies would come on, all the doors would, choop, 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 would shut down because all the smoke would go up. So the police would shut it down trying to keep the smoke inside the theater. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so like you, so you guys there. die. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was so fancy that they used to have the movie theater screen, and right next to it was a little board, a chalkboard with a light. And motherfuckers used to put their seat number that was selling the drugs. They had the weed and, 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 and dog food and all that. And it'd be like, I-90 got the dog food, and they'd be flicking it. Cheep, 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 cheep. So now you know that I-90, you look over there, I-90, oh, that's the dog food over there. And then the one on the left, same thing, cheep, cheep, B-25, I got that smoke. Uh, B25 is over here. So that's how they did that shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so I go down to the theater. I'm like already like, boom. The Ecuadorian kid, he's already, I think he's Salvadorian or something like that. He's from Long Island. And he was like, yo, Blue wants to talk to you. He find out you do not. Yo, listen, man. You know, this guy, you got to approach him different. You know what I mean? Like he was kind of coaching me, my nigga, on how to approach this dude. And I'm like, oh, and shook. Shit, I got to be real. I'm looking at this dude's face. And I know I'm in some type of trouble. I don't know what the hell I did. I ain't do shit. I know I'm in trouble. So I go down there, shoot. Mind you, the other bros was was those the those that was in my block was either key block or wasn't even coming out. The B side was the niggas that was popping. So all, all the shit that was going on over there, it was it was crazy. So he comes up and he's like, yo. So I go to the movie theater. When I see him, he's looking over his shoulder, and there's one seat empty right next to him. You know, you claim seats out there. You know what I mean? This is the king yeah. seat. This is the Muslim seat. This is, you know what I mean? So there's one seat that's empty. That was for me. So he looks over. He sees me coming. He goes like this. He gestures to the seat. He sits down. And he's like, what happened to my brother Chino? So I'm like, yo, you know, I, I explained to him. You know, he was going in the pen, in, in the cell. Chino's coming out. They bumped. Chino turns around. Before he could say something, the cop just took him down. Boom. And he goes, uh, but why did you jump the cop? told me like that my nigga and i was like yo you know to be honest i didn't really see anything that was going on that was wrong i didn't want to make shit even worse he didn't do nothing you know what i mean the dude i could easily be beat and he was like so if we send you as to be a witness for us on that are, are you gonna you know be a witness i was like yeah man tell them fucking cops man 
Put me down as a witness, man. Niggas fucked up. Niggas foul, man. How you gonna bug that man like that? You know what I mean? And and get crazy. So anyway, yeah. make a long story short, right? I was, I was, he was like, all right, man. So we're gonna do that. Then I got up and I went. My mind, I'm like, I'm on my P's and Q's looking around. You know what I mean? She was a little too smooth. So then yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cop comes over, wants to know if you're gonna be a witness. So yeah. I come over, yeah, I'm gonna be a witness. They call me down there. I made my statement, you know what I mean? Of yo, yo, listen, you know, the guy was going in, the cop was coming out. He's like, wait a minute, the cop was coming out or he was going in? He said, no, the cop was going out. This dude Chino was going in. He was like, mm, okay. The case got dropped. The cop was out of place. He didn't even, that wasn't even his post, you know? He never explained what he was doing inside, but he was coming out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So he, he got hot by his. His uh, 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 superior, you know what I mean? Like, yo, what the hell is he doing there anyway? You know what I mean? What the hell is he, you know, mm -hmm. starting some shit for? They dropped the shit on Chino. Blue boy comes over to my cell. Yo, they dropped on shit on Chino, man. Thanks a lot, man. And I'm like, yeah, man, you're welcome. And he's like, yeah, man, you know, if you know you do all this revolutionary shit, you know what I mean? You know, you know, when it comes time to pop, you got to pop, man. You can't get these niggas no chances. And I was like, true that, man, true that. You got it. Boom, he gave me the loop fist pump, whatever, and that was it. You know what I mean? But that was hot, that close. I, I got to being a victim without even realizing it, without doing anything wrong. You know what I mean? Just by being at the wrong place at the at the right time. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, that that was my incident. But even though, even though, it, man. no, no, I, I heard a lot of stories about it. But uh, everybody always asks me if I ran into Blue and all that. But the times that I was, the time that I was with Blue was he. I think he had came down to C ninety five or something, and it was like real brief. But he came to my door to look for me because I had the dog food, right? Yeah. And I don't know if he wanted for him or for whatever, but dudes were like, yo, Blue want to talk to you. And I was like, bro, I don't care about no blue, green, orange, whatever, respectfully, yeah. but I was wilding, right? But then I started hearing about who he was and all that. I think we got to talk, one, I, I'm real bad with that, but this was a long time ago. It, just, it wasn't C95 in the 90s. If I'm not mistaken, in the 90s. So I remember like that real brief. When I think about it, it'll come back to me, but I'm just stuck on the story, what happened with you and him. Like you saying how close you was to, to getting that. Yeah, to, I mean, he was, he was. let me tell you something, man. Blue was the Macheteros at the time. You know what I mean? Macheteros was like no host bar, like straight militant. You know what I mean? His style was militant. I remember one time I was coming down from the yard. I was coming up. If you know Sing Sing, you have like this big corridor. That comes down like a like a like a hallway that comes all the way down. It skips some train tracks and goes into the yard, right? So as I'm coming down, I'm coming up. It. Blue's coming down. He's like, "Yo, what up?" And he's like, "What up?" And he reaches over and he goes, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" And he grabs his hand and he puts it over my hoodie string. And he's like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" He's like, "You gotta chuck these in," and he goes like this. You hear me? And he looks and he shows his shit like this. And his man, he was with his man Chino with that situation. And his man Chino <laughs> got his shit tucked in. And I was like, gangster, good looks. You know what I mean? He like, yo, this dude, like he was on it like that. You know what I mean? But why, like, why, why? The thing is, but this, why, what? Man, the thing is, if you have the things exposed in a fight, you can grab the oh. shit and you can take homeboy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You own him with those rings. You tuck those shit in so that he can't grab anything if, if you know, if, if the case is going to be, you know. But just, just go to show you how militant he was, you know what I mean? I mean, like, it was it was things like that that made me the way I was with bros wearing their slippers in the, in the day room or even worse, the yard, which, you know, you're going to catch a fat move without catching it in the fucking, in the yard with the slippers, you know what I mean? Was I was the on the bros for that, too, yeah. all the time yeah, in the buildings. The, the day room and all that shit, listen, bro, you know what I mean? This is one thing we're not going to do. We're, We're not, not going to rock, rock slippers. slippers. And then when she hits the fan, everybody's going to put on their sneakers and everybody's going to observe what's going on. And the element of surprise is gone. So if we all have our sneakers on, nobody knows what the hell's going on. If we got a pop, nobody's going to see shit coming because we already, we natural. This is how we are. This is how we came in. This is how we left. You understand what I'm saying? All the mm -hmm. change of fucking sceneries and all that shit. 
You're just putting people on their P's and Q's. And, mm -hmm. and police at that. Because they notice that shit too. Wait a minute. All these niggas out here in slippers and coffee mugs. Now they out here in boots and hoodies. You know what I mean? Facts. So it's, it's, it's things like that, man, that, that made me aware of, of listen, man, environment that this shit can pop anytime, any day. You know what I mean? So, and he bros didn't look at it like that. You know what I mean? These niggas was getting too comfortable. You know what I mean? It was getting too comfortable. And he's like, yo, and when you're a king or you're any gang member in the pen, shit can go south from one minute to the next. Like one minute you chilling, you got a VI coming. Next minute you're on the fucking, on the bus going to the box. And, and nobody knows where you're going. You know what Facts. I mean? So it's, it's, it's be ready. You know, don't ever what? get too comfortable. Yeah, no matter how, how dead the jail is, because shit happens, you know? I'd have been in the jail, I'd have been in the camp, and shit popped off in the, in the weight room. And everybody called Coco Tasso, then pieces of weight, bing, bang, bing, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, the camps, the camps pop. People people think it's something sweet because they're going people to the camp. Like, oh, it's sweet over there. Camps, you, let me tell you, camps ain't got no fences, man. They got dudes yeah. that walk down that, that, that path in between them trees and stash the shits like this in them shits, you know what I mean? Yeah, they got people that got their own people's coming and leaving golf balls and um, tennis balls and shit back there. They go. You, you know, was you, you 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 was, was one of them. But when I was but when we somebody, escape. Oh yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, that was an escape. Like not an escape. This dude just walked out, never walked back in. My dude, <laughs> there was a rumor that his girl came and and picked him up at the oh at the softball field. You know what oh. I mean? Yeah, you know you walk out because you got you know. You I heard that a few people did that before. Yeah, yeah, you just break out and don't come back, my dude. And you know, you you be a missing person, you be a fugitive. And you played they yourself because you had a little time. They actually, they actually, when this guy escaped from Georgetown, he he had lent somebody that was in Georgetown one of his family's phone numbers. That's how you get knocked. Somebody from from the from the that knew that he was gonna escape was calling his family, and that's how they pinned the shit on him and they gave him a new one. You know. Oh you know, wow! So he caught a case too. You know what I mean? Just for just for that. Yeah, like like yo, you gonna do that for me? Like Paulie hitting him up. Like yo, you got me. Like you went out there. Yo, you got me. He got yep. me knocked. You know, yep. but dudes are crazy. Yo, that story is crazy with blue with blue boy. The way he grabbed your your thing and was like, yo, put this in. That's militant. You right, dude. That's dude, being he, on point. He, let me tell you something, bro. Blue was definitely cut from a different cloth. Blue is, he, he, he is a piece of every gangster in New York State. It's inside blue. You know what I mean? So the toughest motherfucker is inside blue. Like, he's he's a piece of everybody. And he's the type that if you make noise, you got a little name for yourself. It could go two ways. We could either be cool, you join the force, or he's going to have to get you the fuck out, which is pretty much what he's going to do. You're a threat to his status. You, you get bigger than... Then, 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 whatever you, whatever he is, or you even try to attempt, he's gonna gun you down. He's gonna come for you. Or he's so strong, somebody else is gonna gun you down for him. You know what I mean? With Blue ain't got no, no, no problem putting in that work himself. I, I never even heard of an incident where he had somebody done in, which I'm sure he, he had a lot of niggas done in, but he's a hands on dude. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, another incident, my dude. Um, I was on a visit. I was on a visit. With Blue. With Blue. And with, with Blue was on a visit. You know what I mean? He was getting visits. You know what I mean? He was on a visit. And prior to that, he had stabbed up some, some God body dude like a week prior to that. This dude comes out and he goes into the yard and he pulls out what he had inside him. He had an entire fucking knife that you fold out like this. The Click, click joints, the whole knife. Like, niggas take a little shank part, or you take the little blade, you know, you wrap it up with, with, with toilet paper, and you keep, you boof it. This dude had right. the whole fucking knife. If I'm lying, I'm lying. A whole knife, like a click switch blade in his ass, my dude, in that visit. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you how militant this dude is. He goes through the, through the fucking visit with that, right? He'll go to the bathroom, take that knife out. My nigga, this is the most dangerous 
convict in fucking New York State. And he has a knife like this open. When you open it, sitting somewhere on his body around visitors. You don't want to have beef with that dude when shit like that goes down. You understand what I'm saying? This guy, he's going to take you. He's going to chop your whole family head off with that shit, my nigga. That shit that he had. I seen this shit with my own eyes with that nigga had. You know what I mean? The blue, blue was official. You know what I mean? And listen, man, I, I don't know what it is. You know, it's probably the way I move, but I don't know why or, or how he took a liking to me. You know what I mean? But it was obvious. You know what I mean? That he was like, yo, this dude's my dude. You know what I mean? He, he, yeah, I was good with Blue. You know what I mean? Even after the Chino incident. You know what I mean? I was good with Blue. But uh, yeah, man, I give him all the props in the world for number one. is um, I'm up to par with my culture because of him. Not only my culture, culture in general. My reading had jumped up by like a thousand percent, man. This guy made me hit them books, man. And not only when I was with him, I took that shit to this day. You know what I mean? There's times I take my ass to Barnes and Nobles and I sit there with a coffee on the floor, my nigga, and I'll read a book. You know what I mean? Like that. And I'll credit that to Blue, man. A lot of the ways I think, a lot of the ways I ran the bros, excluding the hard, you know, the hard shit. You know what I mean? Because we all know where that's going to take you. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I just I just took all the good out of it. You know what I mean? And Blue's a, a very good dude, man. He's very, he's very troubled because they, you can't be but so troubled, man. You got 40, 50 years in, my dude. Like, you know, there's no sanity in that. You know what I mean? And that's his house right now. You know what I mean? And anybody else trying to violate that, I feel sorry, man. I don't know what happened with Larry Davis, but the word is, man, that he hit him real good and that he actually beat the case. You know what I mean? He actually, that's what I heard, you know, that's what I'm saying, that he actually beat the Larry Davis case. I don't know how true it is, you know? But um, you want gangster? Blue is gangster. Anybody out there want the most gangster is motherfucker in New York State? That's him. You know what I mean? That's him. Anybody else is, they don't even want it with that nigga. Like, none of these dudes want it with that nigga, yo.